Hello, SuperMJSM67 here. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of a critical bug that has infected Minecraft. It's true. It exists, and it's very real. But good news! This video is to show you how you can avoid getting hacked by creepers. Mainly what I'm going to be showing you is the different launchers and how they're affected by this big glitch that Minecraft has currently. It's actually not in Minecraft itself, but it's in Java, the language Minecraft was coded with. So it affects a lot of different platforms, but since Minecraft uses Java, it's affected as well. This bug is easy to avoid, and I'm going to show you how to avoid it so you don't get hacked by creepers. Alright, before we get started, I want to talk about the bug itself. There isn't much information about it, only that it affects Log4J2, a necessary Java coding tool, uh, which is what Minecraft is coded in, like I said a second ago. But it mostly affects chat, which is very dangerous because Minecraft uses chat. Firstly, let me tell you about the official game client. If you play Minecraft Java Edition but aren't hosting your own server, You'll need to follow the steps. Close all running instances of the game and the Minecraft launcher. Start the launcher again. The patched version will download automatically. That's all you gotta do for the vanilla Minecraft and you should be fine. And now I'm gonna be showing you how to fix all other launchers that you might be using to launch Minecraft with. Firstly, I want to start out with Forge Client. Um, basically just when you install Forge and download it into your Minecraft client, that's what this is and that's what it affects. So I'm gonna show you what versions are not affected by this bug. Currently there aren't a lot of versions for Forge that don't have the bug, but here's a list that does not have the bug that you can use for 1.12.2 and up and you're safe in any of these versions that you use for forge but i think you should be careful with the forge client because it's unclear as to whether or not they have a very good fix for it all right fabric installer was affected as well but there are fixed versions that i will name out on the screen right now but just be careful, these are fabric versions, not game versions. All the game versions should be fine, as long as it uses only listed versions of the safe fabric versions on my screen right now. Okay, now to get on to Optifine. Uh, using the mod itself on an unmodified and updated Forge or Fabric mod loader version should be fine. But don't install the client for it because it's it's not clear as to whether or not it has been patched for Optifine. So be careful with that. All right, moving on to MultiMC. It has been posted on the MultiMC's website that a patch has been made to the latest version. So as long as you have the latest version installed of MultiMC, then every launch that you do vanilla should be fine. But if you have MultiMC and want to use Forge or Fabric, make sure to only install the versions that I've named on my screen or in the page in the description below. Alright, for those of you who are using Bad Lion Client, which I know uh, a lot of you do use, I wouldn't use it. It has no patch notes to fix this bug, um, so you'll probably be able to be hacked if you join a multiplayer server, so just Avoid using Bad Lion Client, they haven't patched it as to my knowledge currently. Okay, so Technic Launcher is the next one, and it seems to be the most unsafe of all of them. Because this has loads of different Minecraft, Forge, and Fabric version clients installations, and they are controlled by the people who create and own each individual mod pack in the launcher itself you have no valid control over it unless it's a mod pack you created it and you own it is it's not safe to use I wouldn't use Technic launcher unless you're sure it's using the right fabric or forge versions that I've named in the uh, document below this next one is T launcher there are no fixes for it at the moment so don't use that avoid using that and for the Curse Forge launcher, 
avoid using that one as well because it has the same kind of setup as Technic Launcher, as in loads of people can create different mod packs and you have no control over what Forge or Fabric version they use. Okay, this next one is GD Launcher. I have almost no knowledge about this launcher because I just figured out about it today, but it appears that they do have a fix for it and it is on the launcher. Uh, I don't have much knowledge about that, but as long as you reinstall it, you should be fine and you should not be affected by the bug as long as you use um, vanilla or fabric or forge supported versions. You don't have to worry about Scrap Deep. We've already patched it, and you shouldn't get any problem on any versions. Alright, that should be all. Just be safe, and don't play any of the versions that have the bug in it. And you should be fine. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.